In this video, I'm gonna share some of the best video editing tools if you're a realtor. We're gonna go from beginner to pro. Let's dive in. Hey everybody, Katie Lance here, and I wanna talk about one of my favorite subjects, of video editing. Okay, it may not be my favorite subject, but it's an important topic that I get asked about all the time, and how do we make our videos better? One of the ways to do this is through video editing. So I just wanna give a quick caveat. I don't think any agent or realtor should be spending hours editing video, so I'm really gonna focus on the beginner and intermediate options. I am gonna give you some pro options, because if you're someone who's like, I love video editing, I wanna figure it out, I wanna take it to that next level, I wanna give you some options as well. So wherever you're at, uh, in your journey when it comes to video, I know you're going to enjoy this. Okay, let's dig in. Okay, when it comes to beginner tools, there's some great simple beginner tools that I recommend, iMovie and CapCut. These are great for beginners. Now, iMovie is really for Apple users, so if you're an Apple girl, Apple, Apple guy, iMovie is a great place to start, and iMovie has come a long way. I remember when I first uh, tried using iMovie, it was like so confusing, it was years ago. It has gotten better and easier than ever before. You can do it right on your MacBook or any Apple product that you have, and it's a great way to start with video content. I've even used it personally for slideshows, for family events. You can use it for photos, videos, uh, and it's relatively quickly, quick and easy, uh, especially if you are a beginner. CapCut is also great for beginners. Now, CapCut has a free version. There's also a paid version. I have the paid version because I felt like it was worth it to upgrade, but you absolutely do not need that version. And if you're a beginner, I don't want you to get overwhelmed with all the options. With CapCut, the best thing to do if you're a beginner is check out the templates. Oh my goodness. Anytime I talk to a realtor and they have used CapCut templates, they're always like, Katie, it's amazing. So yes, if you have not checked this out yet, download CapCut and check out the templates. And when you're in templates, you can search for things like real estate, realtor, house. Maybe you're using it for something fun. I did one recently for a birthday. You can search for birthday and you'll see all these pre-made templates. It's absolutely fantastic. And then what you'll see is how many photos and videos you need to add to that template. So you click on the template you like, you add your photos and videos from your camera roll. It's gonna put it all together it's gonna add music to it, and then you can just download it to your phone and then upload it wherever you'd like. What's great about CapCut is this is great for short form video, especially if you're just trying to quick, uh, create video that is uh, you know, a bunch of little clips and photos. For example, for real estate, this is great for listings. If you've got a bunch of photos on your phone for a listing or an open house, or you have a bunch of little video clips of that listing, it's perfect. You can go into CapCut, find the template, upload those little clips, and through the magic of CapCut, it's gonna look great, right? It's gonna have maybe a little bit of text, It'll have some music. You can still add some text on there. And a little extra bonus tip on CapCut. If you don't quite like the music, when you upload it to Reels or TikTok or wherever you're uploading it, you can quiet that music. You can actually mute the music from CapCut and then just add another sound. So if there's a different sound or a different music track that you'd like, it's a little pro tip. I did that recently. So really fun, especially for, like I said, photos, quick little video clips of listings or for your community. We've some, seen some realtors do some great CapCut videos just of their local community with photos or real estate events, quick and easy, that's the name of the game. So that's for beginners. Okay, let's talk about intermediate tools. Two of my favorite intermediate tools are Canva and Descript. So Canva's awesome. You guys know I'm a huge Canva fan. We have a ton of videos all about Canva. I have a whole playlist about Canva. We can drop that below so you can check that out. Uh, but Canva for video has gotten better and better and there's actually some new features. One of the cool new things that you can do with video within Canva, actually there's a few different things. You can create looping videos. So if you wanna have a video that just loops on and on and on, you can also do a new thing in Canva where you upload a video and through AI, especially if you have a pro account with Canva, Canva will actually pull out what they deem as the uh, juiciest clips all through AI. It's a pretty cool technique, especially if you have a longer form, maybe three or four minute video and you just wanna pull out a few clips, there's a whole new AI, AI feature. Now you may not have it just yet, Canva is kind of slowly rolling this out, uh, but also within Canva, you can do a lot of easy things. There are uh, templates for reels, temp uh, templates for YouTube thumbnails, there's templates for uh, TikTok. So Descript is a great platform for video editing as well. In fact, you can even use it for podcast editing and audio editing. Also, there's a free version as well as a paid version. If you can upload your video or audio file right in these, into Descript, it will transcribe the whole video and then you edit the video by deleting the words. Right, it's fantastic. So let's say you do this two minute video and you use a lot of filler words like, 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 right? Or you say things like so or so, which I tend to do sometimes. When you're in Descript and you upload that, you just delete the words you don't want or the sentences you don't want 
and then through the magic of Descript, it just cuts the video down. So it's a really fantastic tool. I know a lot of folks inside of our Get Social Smart Academy who are at that intermediate level use that. You can also add B-roll if you're looking for some images of a park. Maybe you're doing a video about a park and you want an image of a park to show up on the screen as we hear your voice. You can add some B-roll in there also. So that's a great intermediate tool. Okay, what about advanced? So when it comes to advanced tools, we have a few options. We have Final Cut Pro and Adobe Premiere Pro. So those are a few advanced options, and I will be honest with you, when it comes to editing, I, like I said, I don't think a lot of agents need to go to that advanced level, but we do see a few agents we work with that really love the art of video editing, and so they're gonna invest in those tools. We've also found, though, that a lot of agents who perhaps want that advanced video editing look but don't want to uh, figure out and take the time to learn that extra skill, oftentimes when they're hiring a video editor, they are asking to see if they have those skills, if they are using it. Any, any professional videographer that you work with, that you're um, you know paying to work with, most likely is going to use one of those advanced skills uh, or advanced uh, software. I said this in the beginning, I don't think any realtor needs to spend you know hours editing a video. There's so many great things that you can do quickly and easily uh, that really makes something uh, just, just a, a, a great piece of content. Okay, I would love to hear from you. Are you using Using anything for your video editing? Uh, maybe it's something I mentioned. Are you using an app or tool? Maybe I haven't mentioned. Comment below. We'd love to hear from you. And if you're ready to take your video to the next level, we would love for you to check out our YouTube masterclass. This is one of our most popular masterclasses where I dig deep into all things YouTube strategy, content, and all the things that are really going to help you take your YouTube strategy and your business to the next level. All right. If you haven't subscribed yet, by the way, hit that subscribe button. We have new videos that come out each and every week, and we would love to connect with you here on our community. All right, everyone. Take care. We'll see you soon. Bye for now.